Hi, welcome back to a brand new episode of Jaden Reigns. Today in the Bible, I am going to be reading to you about the end of the kingdom of Israel. This takes place between Second Kings. This takes place in Second Kings sixteen seventeen and Second Chronicles twenty eight. Kings of Israel. How Israel fought against Judah. Now I have a very sad story to tell. It is about the son of Jotham, King Ahaz of Judah. Although he was the grandson, although he was the grandson of good King Uzziah, Ahaz was one of the worst kings that Judah ever had. He undid all the good that his father and his grandfather had done. Ahaz made images of Baal. He burned his children to the death in the fires of Moloch, as the wicked heathen did. He sacrificed to heathen gods on the hilltop and under every green tree. When King Ahaz turned to idols, a great many of his people forsook the Lord also. All the nations around them worshipped idols. And the people of Judah wanted to be like their neighbors. God sent an army of Syrian soldiers against the men of Judah. He did this to warn them to return to the true God. The king of the Syrians fought with King Ahaz, and God allowed the Syrians to conquer they carried away to Damascus very many of the people of Judah as captives. Pekah, the god of Israel, also had a great battle with Ahaz. In one day, Pekah's soldiers killed 120,000 of the men of Judah. The Israelites carried away to Samaria. 200,000 women and children of Judah to make them slaves of them. In Samaria, there was a prophet of the Lord. He was horrified to think the Israelites would enslave all those women and children of their own race. He went out to meet the soldiers as they returned from the war and said to them, God delivered the men of Judah into the hands as a punishment for their sins. You have killed them. Now you intend to make slaves of their wives and children. But God is angry with you for your sins also. You must give up these captured women and children. Some of the leaders of the tribes of Israel stopped their victorious soldiers at the city gates. You shall not bring these captives into the city, they said. They are our brothers. The anger of God is already fierce against us. So the soldiers had to release their captives, and they give up the treasures they had stolen from Judah. The leaders of the tribes used the stolen clothing to dress the captured women and children. They gave them food and drink. Those who were too weak to walk, they put don- they put on donkeys and sent them all back to their own country. What a sad home company that was. In thousands of homes the husbands in thousands of homes the husband and father was dead. In thousands of homes the sons and daughters had been carried away as slaves to Damascus. 
This was indeed a hard lesson about what happens to those who trust in idols. But the people of Judah had not learned the lesson yet. In the stead, instead of praying to God to save him from the Israelites and the Syrians, King Ahaz sent a message to the king of Assyria, beginning him to come and help. King Ahaz took all the gold and silver out of the temple and sent it to the king of Assyria to pay for to pay for his help. The king of Assyria came as far as Damascus. He fought against he fought against Damascus and killed the Syrian king. Ahaz also went to Damascus to help in the battle. There he offered Syria. He thought these gods had helped the Syrians defeat Judah and that if he sacrificed to them, they might help him too. He never thought of asking the only true God to help him. Ahaz took a great fancy to the heathen altar in Damascus. He sent a pattern of it back to the priest in Jerusalem, and that bad priest made the, a copy of the heathen altar in Jerusalem, in Jerusalem, ready for use. When Ahaz came back from Damascus, he he worshipped the heathen idols of Syr, of Syrians on the altar which the priests had built. Worse than that. He closed the doors of the temple of the Lord in silver dishes in the temple. He built heathen altars on the, every street corner in Jerusalem and in every city corner of Judah. Ahaz made a great mistake in asking the king of Assyria to help him. For at the t that time, the kingdom of Assyria was trying to conquer the whole world. As long as Damascus was not conquered, the kings of Assyria were kept from attacking Israel and Judah. From Damascus was between Assyria and Israel. Now that Damascus had fallen into the hands of Assyrians, nothing stood in their way. They would attack Israel next. And after that, Judah, the ten lost tribes. We have reached a chapter which is very sad indeed. At last, the dreadful judgment came upon the children of Israel. God could bear with them no longer. They had become as sinful as the heathen who lived in the land before them, whom God had driven out. Again and again, so the Lord had sent prophets to say, Turn back from your wicked ways. Turn back from your wicked ways and trust only in me. But the people would not listen. They refused to obey God and trusted instead in the heathen idols. They made images and bowed down before the golden calves and before the Ashera. They worshipped the sun and the moon and the stars. They sacrificed their sons and daughters on the fiery altars of Moloch. They used all kinds of magical enchantments to make their wishes come true. The Lord had been patient for hundreds of years. He had taught them. He had warned them. He had even helped them in trouble. But they would not learn. Now at last the day of repentance had passed. The terrible day of God's judgment had come. After reigning twenty years, King Pekah was killed by Hosea, who became king and ruled for nine years. He was also a wicked king. During Hosea's reign, the king of Assyria attacked Israel. Since the city of Damascus had been conquered, there was nothing to prevent him.
from capturing Samaria, the capital of Israel. He made Hosea a puppet king and forced him to pay tribute of Assyria, to Assyria. After a while, Hosea rebelled. Hosea rebelled. He did not send the tribute money, and he begged the king of Egypt to help him fight against Assyria. Then the great king of Assyria surrounded Samaria with his army and resigned it for three years. Finally, the city fell. Hosea was made a prisoner. Most of the people of Israel were carried to a land of Assyria. God no longer allowed them to live in their own land because of their unfaithfulness to him. Oh, what a weeping and wailing as is the Israelites looked for the very last time at their dear homes which had come down to them from their grandfathers. How could they ever say goodbye to all that they, they loved? How could they ever leave it all and never come back? The Israelites were driven far away the, to the distant land of Assyria. There there, there they were scattered among the heathen nations. Nobody knows what became of them in the end. They are called they are called the ten lost tribes of the children of Israel. These tribes were no longer God's people because they had no that they had refused to trust in him. There is no further record of them in the Bible. They were lost and forgotten forever. The rest of the Bible story is about the people in Judah. Only a few people in the very poorest of the Israelite people were left behind. Foreigners from Babylon were brought in to live in the land where Israel, where where foreigners from Babylon were brought to in in the, to the land in to live in the land of Israel. These people were brought their heathen idols with them. The few Israelites who were left soon mingled with the Assyrian foreigners, who also worshipped their own idols and the god of Israelites. The children and their grandchildren followed their example and sacrificed both their time to the true God and the heathen idols. In later years, these people were known as the Samaritans, the people of Judah, despised them because they were not true Israelites. Thank you for watching an episode of Jaden Reads. I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube, my YouTube videos and my YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out any other of my videos if you haven't. Goodbye.